let f of x equal the square root of x plus 6, and this formula is valid for x greater than or equal to negative 6. And we want to sketch the inverse function of f, so solution. So a lot of people, when they first try to do a problem like this, they try to find the inverse function. Let's not do that. Let's just sketch it. And that's what makes this problem uh, so much fun. So here's x, and here's y. And before we sketch the inverse, let's sketch f. So I'm going to use, how about yellow to sketch f? So f is the square root of x plus 6. So it's the square root function. And we're adding 6 to the x. So whenever you add a number to the x, you go left. And in this case, we go left by 6. So we're taking this picture, and we're moving it left by 6. So here is negative 6 comma zero and it looks like our square root function will look like this it crosses the y-axis when x is equal to zero so to find that point you just plug in zero and you get zero plus six which is the square root of six so it crosses this point here at zero square root of six all right now to find the inverse function we're going to use the fact that a function and its inverse are symmetric about the line y equals x. So that's a pretty good line there. And a function and its inverse also swap domain and range. So the x becomes the y and the y becomes the x. So instead of negative 6 comma 0, we're going to have 0, negative 6. And instead of 0 square root of 6, we're going to have square root of 6, comma 0. And so our inverse function should look something like this. So this purple line is the graph of f inverse. And the yellow line is the graph of f. So we're done. That's it. I hope this helps.